every 30 seconds a car accident happens somewhere in America. I am Skeletor, and in the next few minutes you will learn some information that could possibly save your life. The number one cause of car accidents are distractions such as texting, rubbernecking, and looking at other accidents. Distractions increase your reaction time, which is the amount of time it takes a person to react to something. The average reaction time ranges from 0.2 to 0.25 seconds. If your reaction time is increased, you won't be able to stop as quickly as you could, which means you have more potential for getting in an accident. Normally, if you're going about 15 miles per hour, you'd travel about 73.3 feet per second when trying to stop. But with the distraction, you'd go approximately 22 feet more. Everything makes a difference, such as yellow lights. When approaching a yellow light, you'll be in one of two major zones, the go zone or the stop zone. But there are also two sub-zones that could put you in danger or make you even more safe, known as the overlap zone and the dilemma zone. If you're in the overlap zone, then whether you decide to stop or go is perfectly safe. But if you're in the dilemma zone, then neither going nor stopping would be safe. I would suggest slowing down, then stopping, to let the people behind you know that you are stopping. This should give them ample time to react and stop, unless of course there was ice on the roads. Yes, even weather conditions can affect your driving, such as ice, rain, and even other various objects that can lay in the road, such as debris and garbage. If it is raining or if there is water on the road, then it is a good thing to slow down so that you won't slide all over the place and crash into someone. If there is ice on the road, it is also a good thing to put chains on your car to increase friction. Friction also plays an important part when making curves. The friction that is made between the road and your tires is called the centripetal force. Anything that were to affect it would mean that your speed should decrease. Your speed should also decrease the sharper the curve gets so that you won't go driving off the road. But if the curve isn't sharp, then it is okay to speed through it, just not too fast. The final thing that is important when driving safely is your following distance, which is the length between the front of your car and the back of the person's car in front of you. In order to maintain a safe driving distance, people usually use the three second rule, which is where you choose an object up ahead, wait for the vehicle in front of you to go by it, then go one more thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. If you go past it before finishing, you're driving too close and should slow down. I am Skeletor, and I hope you learned something today. Beast man, you clumsy oaf, put your seatbelt on!